Hey there, in this video, I'm going to share with you how to create a fancy border for your Zoom interviews if you're going to upload them onto YouTube and you want them to look really cool. This is very simple. I'm using uh, Canva, as I said. So you'll open up your Canva account and you'll hit Create Design. And you're going to choose Presentation, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels. And my one pro tip that I'll, I'll share with you is to take a screenshot of your actual Zoom interview and upload that screenshot into Canva. And you'll notice that if you're using the presentation template in Canva, that it fits perfectly. Um, and you can take a screenshot very simply just by opening up your video in your editor or just opening up the video on your computer and just take a screenshot. It's, it's like really super simple. So I've uploaded that screenshot into Canva as an upload, and then I've just inserted it onto my presentation background. Very easy peasy so far, right? So now what you're going to do is I'm going to reduce the transparency of the image to about 25% or so, it doesn't have to be perfect. Whatever works for you will work. So then I'm going to come over and choose a photo and I'm going to go with blue. And the reason why I use a photo is because the photo tends to have, the photo tends to have a lot of interesting textures. So I like this, this blue texture. And then I'm going to um, adjust the size of the photo so that it's the same size as the top and the bottom of my zoom screen. It was pretty simple. Copy paste. I'm going to drag this down here and then make sure that I'm lining it up correctly. So there we go. So now we have a top and a bottom. If you wanted it to be red or whatever, you could come over here and pick red and do the same thing with red just by resizing it. But we'll go with blue for now. Okay, so that's uh, that tells me that I've got the blue border on the top and on the bottom there. And next, what I'm, I like to do is add the names of the speaker and of the guests. And I'm going to do this in white, just so that it'll have a nice contrast from the blue background. I'll just add my name real quick, bear with me. And I will put my title. All right, and I'm going to left justify each one of these items. I'm also going to reduce the, the height of the line text uh like so and then one other cool thing that i like to do is add an element and um i'm going to look for the social media icon that i want to get more connections on so i'm trying to build my youtube channel up so i'm going to put this little youtube icon right next to my name. You can add whatever you want on your design. It's your graphic and you can either leave it there or take it off. It's up to you. You can add different things. So then I'm going to copy and paste that title and I'm going to put in the name of my guest. So there you have it. That's the basics of how to get a design for your Zoom interviews if you're looking to make them fancier for YouTube. Now to export this out of Canva, all I do is I come uh, drag my background image, the, the Zoom screenshot, I delete it. And then I'm gonna download this out of Canva as a ping high quality image with a transparent background. And what the transparent background is going to do is it's going to take the white uh, section of this graphic and it's going to make it transparent so that when we upload it into Filmora, there will be nothing there and the video will be able to be seen through the back. So now we're in the video editor and I'm using Filmora. That's what works for me, but this process will work in any video editor. The, the concepts are the same. So in Filmora, what I've done is I've created a new project and I've basically took the Whitney interview, the raw file, from Zoom and I went into my Zoom account, downloaded the raw file and I've uploaded it into my Filmora. And uh, from film, from in, once I was in Filmora, I took it and I dragged it down onto the editor. 
which is pretty simple, but I'm going to show you how I upload the fancy video border. Okay, so here's my video border for Whitney's interview, and I've got it saved in there as an image, as a ping with the transparent background, as I said. So what I'm going to do is I don't do a lot of fancy editing on my videos. I literally just take the, the front part out where I hadn't pressed record yet. And I take the ending off. Let me show you how I do that. Go to the front. Go to the back. I'll let that catch up and see if there's anything here I need to cut. So right there is where I like to cut. Um, just because I don't want people to see my hand pressing away the record button. So that's it. All right, so that's all the editing I'm going to do on my interview. I really, I don't edit my interviews much at all unless there was a technical problem or a dog barking or something like that. But in Whitney's interview, it went perfect. And okay, so now I've got my video background uploaded as a ping file. I'm gonna drag that onto the editor. And then I'm going to make it as long as the video interview. Easy peasy, that's it. And now you can see that when I play the video, the border and the, the graphic with the border is superimposed on top of the video, which makes it look really cool and professional and just a lot of fun. So that's it. From here, all I would do is export out my video. And that entire process is done. And it literally takes just a few minutes. And it makes, I think, a big difference. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.